cat butt, cat butt. Got a face full of cat butt. Nothing better than having a cat butt in your face. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to No Fence Gaming, Diddy Comp Racing. I just got a face full of cat butt when I went to, I got my head close to my cat, going to pet her, and she's put her nose, her butt, and tail right in my face, so. It's beautiful, especially, I just, like, shaved, too, so. Like, I didn't, like, fully shave. Like, I didn't use a razor, so I'm not clean shaven, so I still got bristles. So, fortunately, her fucking fur gets caught on my, on the bristles on time, so it's like, pah, pah, pah. Oh, ugh. It's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Uh, all right, so we're gonna go face the boss of the fourth level again. Cause we got, we got, we did the Silver Cone Challenge. Dude, I got I got a prize for you too, chapstick. If I beat you, will you put on some chapstick, please? Like, this is for you, not for me. Like, I don't really care what you do to your body. I'm just trying to help you out. It's your body, your choice, you know. But like, do whatever the fuck you want. But like, bro, I'm trying to help you out. Like, you're literally breathing out. Ah, fuck, fire. That can't be. That can't be healthy. Am I going the wrong way? I was like, am I going the fucking wrong way? Because this asshole. Alright. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. I'm not gonna do well here. Uh, this guy's gonna be hard. He's an, he's kind of an ass to beat. Memory serves. Alright, we're good. We'll be fine. Just gotta... Ah, uh. oh, damn it. Okay. Alright, it's fine. That was a good move I had going on there. It's, it, it's tough. You just gotta weave in between... Uh... Uh... The pillars and his fucking fire. He's because he's a little bit easier to dodge. Like he's not as like asshole as the uh, um as the uh, octopus. You can definitely dodge his things uh, a lot more. Ah, all right, it's fine. Ah, uh, I didn't. I thought I was gonna get that boost, you know, I was like, ah, fuck it, I fucked up, but, you know, I can recover with the boost. It's fine. Man, try and get that blue boost, it didn't work out. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, yeah. Bang! Got him. Ah! It's like, fuck him. <laughs> I was just, just gonna get him, but it didn't work. Alright, we're good, we're good. Not too worried. Smells like fucking cat poo my house now because the cat fucking had to lay in massive duke. I don't know what a, I, dude. She just eats like dry food. How in the world does this cat keep pumping out shit like that? That just stinks. How does she just have massive stinky drops? I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, love this cat. Love just uh loves just uh let's talk about the things she does. Crazy cute little thing. But man does she draw some massive stinky piles sometimes. Alright, cool. Awesome. It's even worse when I get a face full of cat pod, like right after she used her litter box too, because you got you get the you get the poo smell and the cat litter smell. It's just oh dude, it's not pleasant. Ugh. Ugh. There's a reason I have quite a few air fresheners in my house, like just because of this little butt. Great. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. I have like one of the chillest cats in the world, man. Just the other day, I put like a bunch of toys, all of her, like all of her toys, like on top of her, and she doesn't, she didn't give a fuck. I'll put that up and I'll put that up there so you all see it. But she doesn't care. She does not care. All right, cool. So we did it. Beat the fourth boss. You gonna accept my prize of chapstick, Combs? You have earned. <laughs> I love how he talks. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, excellent. Trophy challenge, let's do it. <sighs> Feeling good? I got, uh, oh, cool. Well, we got, yeah, but that's the last piece of the ammo. Yeah, cool. So now we can, now we're worthy of facing Wispig. Man, Fistpig, I've always been worthy. I've always been worthy. I've beaten you many, many times. Many, many times. 
But uh, earlier today, I went to uh, my favorite bar in Columbia, Pub Dog, and got myself some nice beer. Some nice beers and growlers, because they have delicious beer. What they do with their with their beer, which I like uh, a lot, of, this different. This is definitely different. Excuse me, from most places uh, that brew their own beer, they mix their own beers, so you get like different different types mixed together. And my favorite is some Muddy Mutt, which is like their will be like their Guinness Stout uh, mixed with it's like a brown ale type type scenario. Uh, it's really good, really malty. Uh, it's perfect. And I got a. I got the Boxer, which is their uh, their Guinness, their Black Dog uh, uh, Stout beer, mixed with their Blueberry beer that they have. It's delicious. The place is awesome. I love Pop Dog. Love me some good beer. I need to get some more Growlers, too. I do love beer. Beer is good and stuff. Psycho Stick. Uh some point I do want to brew my own beer I think that'd be something cool to do down the road uh, I mean it doesn't have to be now honestly it could be uh, what's nice about that I can do it almost any time really I could do it when I'm like 50 years old and start brewing my own beer but I definitely want to do that someday I mean I don't know I don't know about like making a brewery or something like that or selling the beer but I think that would come down after I've made the beer and made beer that I like and other people like first, and then comes the selling uh, part if I decide to do that. But room beer is, that just sounds cool. Sounds fun. I mean, I love beer, and it's like, why not just create my own beer? Hell yeah. Well, it sounds like a great, really great idea. Because I, I love all different ki types of beer. I mean, I'm mostly like heavy stouts and porters, very multi beers. I'm a dark beer kind of guy. Uh, but I love all types of beers. Now that's uh, getting uh, warmer out. Had, you know, we've we gotten to spring, even though the weather would lead you to believe that's not the case. Because <laughs> Maryland, uh, Maryland weather is very fickle. Ah, shit, shit, shit. Ah, ah get across the finish line. Ah. Ooh, man. Let me uh, take a swig to get off that stress. Mm. Awesome. Uh, fortunately, Maryland is very sporadic in, how, in a way in like how the weather turns out, especially where I live. Uh, uh, in between, like on the other side of the bay, uh, on the west on the west side of the bay, it's you got you got all different kinds of weather coming into into the state. You have weather coming from like for one, you got uh, the Atlantic Ocean. You got weather coming from. From there to the east, you got it coming from uh, the south, from Florida. You got it coming from the north in Pennsylvania, you know, and the Appalachian Mountains to the northwest and stuff. So it's like it just kind of Maryland kind of gets hit from all different directions. So it's very sporadic in its uh, of what the weather is like, and also the Earth is dying too. So you know that's also a thing. You know, winter's warm, whatever. You know, I don't. I don't know, I man. It weather's wacky. I don't know everything about it. I just it's just very obvious, like with like you know, it shouldn't really be snowing this hard when it's technically spring. Yeah. It shouldn't be doing that. I don't think so. It shouldn't be like seventy degrees in mid in like January. Like, no, not really. But yeah, it is what it is. Um uh, uh, but uh, one of my favorite beers in the summer is on a Google Summer Shandy. It's like a lemonade type beer. Delicious. Very, uh, you know, I mean, obviously that's like not the most hardcore beer, but it's delicious and tastes great and if it makes you feel good in the summer. Summer beers are amazing. Because, I mean, what, what's what's like the best thing to do like when, when the weather's nice out and stuff? You know, like you want to kick back and have a drink and stuff, man. Great summer beers that are delicious. Summer and fall, like the best times for beer, at least for me. I think that is the most flavorful beers to come out. Oh, damn it! I thought it was gonna slip on my goo. All right, Diddy. Yeah, you're Diddy. Right, Diddy, I'm gonna make you spin out. I'm gonna make you spin out. Just bump into me again. I'm gonna, like, <laughs> if you got a little bit closer, I was going to specifically break so he would bump into me. 
All right, I'm gonna put it right here. Back. I don't know if I got anybody. It's it's always hard to like to hit people with the uh, with the goop and stuff. Or maybe I do like well, it's like I do hit them with it, but the recovery time is so like incredibly like like good. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter what you do. And I don't know if I always like get the sound effect when somebody hits my traps or I hit them. Like each character does like ah hoo like type thing, but I don't know if that always that always comes out. Cool. So uh, what was that? Was, that was the third race. Cool. No, that was the second race. All right. Cool. The stage with the hay barrels that are sensing it apparently. Putting eyes on things is great. Just putting googly eyes on stuff is always just funny. <laughs> like, whoever whoever thought about putting googly eyes on a Roomba was, was a good idea. It's like, man, you, you, were, you were right. That's just excellent. All right. No Timba. Ah! Damn it. I hit the windmill. It's fine. We're good. I can get ahead of these assholes. These guys don't use the boost for whatever reason. <laughs> Taste my farts. Or something. I don't know what I was. Ah! Diddy, come here. Come here, Diddy. I need to be next to you. Oh, damn it. This is not good. I must be perfect. I must be perfect. I must be perfect. I can get a first place. I can get to first place. Z, no, they are getting the boost too. I'm, I'm getting slightly faster boost. Ah, fuck. Oh well. Yeah, see, it's like how much I'm catching up to him. It's crazy. I love, I love how when they get further away, like they just become triangles. Fucking hilarious. Moment of truth. Moment of truth getting here. Whoa. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I can get him. I'm, not, I'm still, still not sure yet. Oh, man. Yeah. Fuck. They are pretty damn far ahead. Yeah. Yeah. It's whatever. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Whatever. We won't be perfect. Don't always have to be perfect, you know? We all have our imperfections. They what is what makes us great. So what makes us <laughs> different? It's fine. I'm still gonna win this. I'm pretty sure I'm still in first place. Yeah. Haunted Woods. I'm still in first place. I'm definitely gonna win this one. My uh, this this level is fucking easy. I can crush it. Uh, alright, cool. Yo! Oh, that was gonna get the second one. Bloop. <laughs> this level's cool. I like this one. Wish it was a little bit longer, though. Well, I guess it's it's not that long of a level. It's just, uh, you get the boost, so it makes it feel like it's shorter. The music's great, though. I love this level. It reminds me of, uh... Well, they probably... I mean, this game came out before Donkey Kong 64. So, it wouldn't surprise me if they reused assets uh, for Donkey Kong 64. I think... Uh, man, what was what was the name of the... What level was it? Uh... I mean, I can't... I can't remember the name of the level. Um... But there was... It was like the castle level? Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. It was, it, was, it was a castle level, I believe. I don't know, it just had a lot of, like, haunted type thing, uh, like, songs and stuff. It's a great game. I definitely can't wait to do a playthrough of Donkey Kong Sage 4. I, I adore that game, so it's phenomenal. All right, cool. Trophy challenge done. Fox and Lit. So, uh, that's what we gotta do. Uh, just gotta go get the key. Uh, that's in Boulder Canyon. 
and do the arena challenge. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.